Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And last time we actually had two characters level up, and I only leveled up one of them. Uh, Morrigan has also leveled up, so we'll go ahead and start things off by dealing with that. We'll go, yeah, we'll stick with the two magic, one willpower. That seems to be going well for me. And we're going to take her down the path of Paralyze and Mass Paralyze. Now, the only other issue I'm having right now with Morrigan is I need her to have more tactic slots. So I was going to go in here and give her some... Use that Paralyze thing and like make that kind of a priority over some of the other things. And I'm like, what am I going to use it over? I mean, I still want her using Lightning and Winter's Grasp and Drain Life and... Yeah. So... We're going to just, uh... Have to wait till she levels up again and gets the option to add more tactic slots. Last time we also found the Urn of Sacred Ashes and we did... Oh, it's a merchant. Okay, that's fine. We've met this guy before. We can sell our junk here. You have coins, stranger. Um, Fine weapon and arm. And we fixed the problem. We we cured Arleman. He's back on his feet. Now, what my goal for this episode today is, I don't know if it'll happen in this episode. Okay, actually, it's post commentary. Me, I know what's going to happen in this episode already, but you guys don't know when I'm playing off that sort of. Then again, if you're really familiar with this game, you probably do know. Uh, but anyways, my goal is to... I want to get to the elven alienage in Denerim. I want to see if I can get that open. Because I want to go there and get that, you know, best or second best knife in the game. I want it. And I'm just kind of scanning other equipment here. I still need a bunch of toxin extracts. All right. Well, with that, let's continue our trek to Denerim. Uh, we'll do some other side quests while we're there, I'm sure. Uh, we do have that one side quest with the... Oh, we, we have the side quest to turn in for um, the Antivan Crows, that one guy's camp we killed that's like just south of Denerim there on the map that we went to and dealt with like before we went on the uh, quest for the urn. So we have that to turn in. I want to visit... Magic exists. What's his name? Uh, the, the guy that makes armor, the Drake Scale Armor. Wade, that's his name. Nice to see you again. I want to get some good Drake Scale Armor, because we have more Drake Scales now for him. Uh, I found these scrolls. Really? Oh, pardon she had a marker me. over her head, so it was like a quest-related like thing. I would like to examine them in any event. Uh, do be careful with them. I'm not going to ask her for money, scrolls just no see. Like, I'm standing right here. It's written in cipher. Early believers used them to keep their writings safe from the Devinter Magus. These could be authentic. Please, let me examine it. Yeah, see, they ask for micro. I'm like, we're standing I right here. What are you gonna do? Quill and ink. What was the trick to the cipher again? Ah. Uh. Okay, I guess there's gonna be some interlude time. I examined your scrolls. I know a few of the early Chantry ciphers, but I'm not fully familiar with this one. The bits I have made out. This may be an account of Mafarath's final days, and perhaps more. So it's an ancient text that you really like. Cool. I know. It's remarkable. The same Mafrath who betrayed our prophet and saw her burn alive in Minrath Rus. If we could get a real translation, well, it could be the find of our lifetime. Uh, it could take months. The ciphers okay. were designed to be could difficult for months. the Magisters to decrypt. 
Who knows what secrets we can uncover, what truths we can find? Here is all of the allowance I have for acquisitions. Take it and go. A thousand, thousand blessings. Oh, she's giving me everything. That must have been really important. Seven and a half gold. Dang. Nothing new on the Chanter's board, okay. Anything to turn in the with you? No? Okay, yeah, deep dark. Alright, uh, Mages Collective. We'll just, we'll just make our rounds here. Good to see you again. Because a lot of times what happens is when you have so many side quests going at once, or you go through an area and you have a bunch of side quests, oh, wooden crate. Okay. Uh, you know, I end up completing a whole bunch of different quests at once, but Thanks not really help. knowing which ones or where to turn them back into. That's kind of the issue. It's an issue I have with this game. Although with Dragon Age 2, I find it to be much less of an issue because what I'll tend to do is like, I'll accept one side quest, I'll go out and do that, turn that back in. And then, uh... How can I help you? Um... I have more Drake, Drake scales. You must be kidding! We're done! No, No, I'm not kidding. I'm gonna pay you this time, too. Because I, I learned that's the way you get the... The good if stuff. Frosty, no. I've been thinking every night about what I do different. It's all in my head. Cool. Dear Heron, don't worry. I can make it faster this time. You can? You worry too much. Just it didn't take you that long to make the last and time. And I'll have my finest work for you. Oh, now it's going to charge 20 sovereigns for it. Well, I want it good. So I guess we're going to pay 20. Perfect, you say? Well, there are a few alterations I could make. I'll close up the shop then. No more new orders. Think of the possibilities. Okay. Well, good thing we have all this money. Uh, can I... I know I can't do anything with those ch it's chests so yet. Nice to be in civilization. Okay, what we need... And then Brother Jenna TV's home. Like, look, this is still... We still have a quest marker here. So I don't know if we're supposed to return back here, or... I, I think what you're supposed to do is, you know, if you don't kill Jenna TV, you can find him back in his home here. And it'll say something about, you know, expeditions to the urn or whatnot. I think you also have to do something about that dragon before that gets fully realized. Okay, there's nothing here despite the game telling me, you know, quest marker here, do something here. There's nothing for us to do. Um, so yeah, I want to do, I want to do those two things. Also, I want to go back and attempt that, uh, that boarded up, uh, that deserted house for the, the blood mage that we're supposed to be hunting for the Chantry or Templars or whatever. I want to go there and see if we can actually make progress in that regard. And that can wrap up a side quest. Oh yeah, we have to go turn in the one for do we have What can I get you, stranger? Do you have anything to turn in for you? I guess not, because otherwise I'd have an option there. And nothing new this time here. Okay. I think though also Yeah, I shouldn't mention it yet. I can mention it in a couple more episodes. A couple more episodes when past gameplay me fully realizes what's going on. Uh, past gameplay me just wants to do stuff. I'd rather talk about your mother. Well, there's oh, nothing geez. to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more interesting. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's more interesting than that? Apostates. Mages outside of the tower. 
That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. <laughs> oh, I love those two. Uh, pick up the chest first, or how, how do we do Do we have to report to you? No, I don't want to talk more again. I want to talk to Master Find Incognito. Uh, let me get this because if I say if I say the payment was good, maybe it'll just disappear from the chest and I won't actually get it. Is this thing actually? It doesn't seem very good. In fact, this seems like crap. We're gonna end up selling Find those. Find everything you need. Payment? Oh, just make sure you drop by from time to time. Now, if you'll excuse me. All right. We still have one more quest to do for uh, for him. One more person make to kill. Blessings upon All right, Blackstone Irregulars. Okay, nothing going on here. Then we're also going to stumble into a couple other things while we're in Denerim. One of them being kind of deadly that I didn't fully realize was here or remember was here. But I should also be checking out... Actually, I think Wade's actually done with the armor at this point. Which will actually be able to equip the armor, because remember, it takes 20 strength to for Zagana to equip. It's actually going to be really good. Um, and when you have the full set, you'll get a full set bonus. Although, spoiler alert, the game won't actually tell me what the full set bonus is for it. At least not that I could find. I want to go to the alien edge. We've done this already. But it, it just, it sparkled. It's just like it wanted to give us something more, but it's just not. Yeah. The alien edge is closed. Ah, darn it. Well, that's annoying. And that's just Jenna TV's home that... Apparently the marker's dwarven never going to go craft. away. Yeah, yeah, dwarven crafts. I don't want dwarven crafts. So I need to find a way to get into the alienage. That's what I'm doing here. So we're going to Good talk to, to this wouldn't. slim Fight cauldry. Fight, eh? And maybe this is how I advance things in Denron, because honestly, I don't know. I just have to make this up as I go. I never got back to the alienage in any playthrough I've had of this game. Lady Sophie is an intimate of Al Hal. Real intimate. She's visiting the country. I don't like the RO How, do we? Because the Howes are the danger. ones that Sorry, attacked. That so angry. Um, <clears throat> attacked our Come human noble, in noble family unattended. in that, that intro. Her valuables are just there for the taking. You got the tavern staff. What? What is it? I already broke into that room. Maker's blood. Well, right. Here's your money back. Oh, I'll, good. He uh, didn't just take our one sovereign chance. for nothing. I know of another opportunity. Okay. What other opportunity do you have? Good to see you. Is it going to get me into one of the fight, other eh? places in Denerim that I can't actually go I have to? A big opportunity for you. Four sovereigns. Well, good thing I have money. Arl Howe uses a warehouse in the market district from time to time. Word is, the Arl's been dipping into the, the city's warehouse. treasury and discreetly moving silver bars to his estate in High Ever. There's a fortune in that warehouse right now, and if you succeed here, Arl Howe gets a big black eye. But guards will be everywhere, not those half-assed dock guardsmen either. Generally, I'm opposed to killing, 
But these are the Arles, hand-picked hatchet men, and stealth's not really an option. So, good luck. No, I'm stealth's not really an option. That sounds like my kind of game. This, okay, apparently we didn't already raid this warehouse. It's actually a different warehouse that's going to unlock that uh, when you actually accept the mission. Dragon Age does that sort of thing sometimes. Like, there'll be places that you can't actually go until you accept the certain side quest. I think Dragon Age 2 does that a lot, too. Okay, Crime Wave is going to be our active thing here. I was trying to see, like, what else is going on with our quests. Oh, because also you can, um... With the quest, you can you can see that's where you can see when Wade is going to be done with the uh, armor, which he's already done. Yeah, that was another thing I was looking at over there. Hello, I'm back. We're closed. Oh, it's you. The Drake scale armor is done, and it's well decent few things I'm rather proud of. And it didn't take as long as I feared. Odd. You'd better be very proud, Wade. We can't afford any more flights of fancy. Can't afford? I just gave you Good. 20 sovereigns for this. I wouldn't mind working on Lord such and such's armor today. We'll see how long this lasts. Here's your armor. Now please leave. All right. Let's... We're actually going to equip the armor because we're going to find that it's like all better pieces than what we currently have. Let's do some comparisons here. Now there isn't a look at that plus one to dexterity. We didn't have that before and more fire resistance. I've got the uh, yeah. See, there's the superior Drake skin gloves and then there's the regular ones. Yeah, we're definitely going to be using that and that's just it's going to go away. Superior Drake skin boots, more dexterity. Look at that, more armor. I mean, it doesn't reduce hostility, but I think we'll be fine. And then look at that, more armor, more dexterity, plus 50% fire resistance. If we put all of this together, I'm going to be practically immune to fire attacks. And I think... Uh, and correct me if I'm wrong on this, but I think if we put all of them together, maybe the set bonus uh, will end up making us like completely immune to fire attacks. So we'll definitely want this armor to battle dragons. Yeah, this is overall just going to be so much better. At first, I was like, oh, well, I'll just equip the main armor because I still, I still want like the backstab bonus that we have from the gloves we have. But I'm like, you know what? No, let's just go. Let's go all out. That five percent backstab bonus. That's not really. It's not that big of a deal, right? At least it doesn't seem to be at the moment. Welcome. Yeah. I wanted to sell, you know, the crap equipment Welcome. to you. Welcome. Please leave. And if you have any more scales, you can shove them. Yeah. Just leave. But I guess he's not going to let us do that. Can I not shop here anymore? Maybe you have to exit and go back in. Yeah, whatever. I'll sell the crappy Drake scale armor because no one else is going to use it. I've got a party of two mages and Alistair, Big Tanky Knight, and Zagata. I mean, technically, if I brought Liliana back, but uh, at this point, the only time I would really even consider using her is against Flemeth because we can't take Morrigan to fight Flemeth. But again, for that battle, I think I'm going to go with Shale. Because Shale, I don't know, Shale seems like a good idea. But we need a way to damage Flemeth. Same with the High Dragon. We couldn't really damage them. 
We couldn't really survive long against them either. We just need to get fully leveled up. And I think that's going to solve a lot of our issues. Alright, but this warehouse is now unlocked. And as soon as we go in... Lo loading screen, that's that's your cue. Time for more practice. As soon as we go in, we get attacked. So let's just rip their toes off. Let's just start stabbing things. This is the action we came here for. Okay. I don't know what everybody else is doing, but I see an archer over here, so let's stun him and stab him. He'll stun and stab. Alright, what do we got going on over here? We've got, what, two, three guys? Oh, there's the leader. Ah, uh, you need to, you need to die there. And there's, wait a minute, where did you just come from? Did you just, like, spawn in? I swear, some of these guys are just spawning in. And losing their head. Where did you come from? Like, you were not there. Stop pretending. Yeah, well, that was pretty easy. And no one here is really going to have any decent loot for us. But there's some health potions and whatnot, so we'll pick them up. I mean, we're going to pick it all up anyways. We'll just sell what we don't need. Is there anything back here before I go to the obvious treasure chests? No, we need obvious Over treasures. With. Oh, we have to unlock them as well. Silver bars. And we get two of them. Uh, silver bars, I'm going to check. Success. I might check off camera. Uh, you can sell silver and bars done. for one and a half uh, gold. So essentially, we paid four gold to Slim Cauldry, and we can get, well, we had, what, six silver bars left? So, so nine gold total. So we could profit five gold from this, plus, you know, the other little pickups we got from killing those guards. So not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, that this Slim Cauldry guy, it was, it was worth my time to do this. Because there's, like, no limit to the amount of money. Well, I mean, there is technically a limit, but I doubt we're going to reach it. Alright, so we'll go back to Slim Dwarven. Cauldry. Oh, yeah, I want to go to Dwarven Crafts. Welcome back. We want to sell. Is there something else you'd like to look at? Every... Yeah, yeah, I don't need to hear it. I just need you to give me money for stuff. Oh, and I notice here, he has, a, see, he has a backpack. I don't, do I fully understand that right now? I was looking at, like, I want to see the silver bars. Yeah, they're, because I want to make sure that quest was worth my time. Yeah, I did, I did not fully realize it. And I wanted to see what this crappy Drake skin armor was going to sell for. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I didn't realize it. He has our final backpack. He has a couple things I want to buy from him. Warden, rumors are flying about the break-in at the Nord Noble Tavern, and for some odd reason, no one feels too sorry for that milk cow lady. So I did that like what thirty <laughs> episodes you interested ago? In more? I'm following up a lead in the Palace District. I know you can't get in now, but you never know. Ooh, get if me it all works out, district. it'll make you a legend. Uh, wait, hey, I want... Uh, he's not going to give us stuff. I believe I tried talking to him again off-camera or something, and he just kind of says the same thing, that he's working on, you know, setting up the next thing, so... We can't do... We're going to drop a save, though, because we kind of did a lot, and I'm kind of going to go, with our new armor on Zagana, I want to go to that uh, abandoned but not abandoned... Uh, house where that blood mage is at yeah the deserted building that's not so deserted see i can't those other areas are all grayed out can't go there yet i wonder if there's a reason to go to any of those other back alleys after we've cleared them out already 
I wonder if there's anything else at the pearl for us. Yeah, well, we're going to do this right now. Because this is a battle. And I did, I did drop a save, so... Yeah, we're good. Let's just storm in here. Oh, there's a trap that I probably should have disarmed, but I want to... See, I'm missing this Blood Mage. He's stunned and I'm missing him. This is totally not going according to my plan. Can someone please kill this Blood Mage? Sagana, stop missing. And Sagana has like a whole bunch of buffs going on in right now. Okay, we got the Blood Mage down. That's how we ended up dying last time. So now it's just a matter of picking off the rest of these archers. Slicing their heads off. Alright, here, let me take care of this trap after we've all run around it. At least they were smart enough not to get caught in it. And now we can actually pick stuff up, like this crappy armor that we're going to sell. And I look at the map, and you see that there's, like, a spot, like, way off in the dark yonders of this. That's where we're going to have to go to to finish this Blood Mage quest. Uh, shield. Oh. Yeah, shield. We need a new shield for... Well, we have new shields. We have to give it to Alistair. Um... Yeah, we'll go with this one. That one seems like just a little bit better than Eamon's shield. Hmm. Door key, huh? Moving on. Yeah, okay. And we got 40 experience for using a key. Man, if only that worked that way in in real life, I would be I would be level 100. Let's go. Right now. Off I go. Hey, we opened a door and didn't get immediately ambushed. Well, oh, well, that didn't last long. Rip your toes off and just start stabbing you. I guess we just want to fight in the doorway. Let us end this. Oh, hi. Yeah, these guys are not going to last long. Like, the, like, remember, first time we attempted to go in here and we just got slaughtered very trap. quickly. So simple to see, really. Oh, there's a trap up ahead. Trip wire. We'll disarm that. But now it's like we're yes. we're able to handle this place very easily. Well, easily so far. It seems like we're able to handle it. That, that's my point. Uh, where where are the enemies? Let's take you out so that way everybody else can storm up. I see trap detected. Where's the other trap? I want ah. There we go. Yeah, let me just, you know, ignore all these other guys. This is Blood Mage. See, I was able to stab that one really easily. And now we've got... Uh, behind you and stab you. Thank you. Is that everybody? I think so. Well, let's pick up goodies from their fallen corpses. Yeah, the deserted building that is anything but. I had a feast here. I have another feast up here. This is a lot of food. Makes me hungry. So I'm going to go get something to eat, and I'll see you guys next time.